you were aware that violations regarding student athletes, particularly, had either occurred or likely occurred. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Yes. And you did not report that those violations to anyone in athletics or compliance or the NCA. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. And were you aware that as a result of those violations that the student athletes would likely be ineligible then for participation during the 2010 season? Uh, no, I didn't think of it like that. Um, you know, I, I didn't take that progression of thinking. Um, I mean, I knew that inevitably they were going to have a problem. Um, I don't, you know, I can't sit here and say I thought, oh, these guys are ineligible. I, I didn't think of it that way. Okay. But you knew that the young men who were involved in the violations were going to participate in the 2010 season then? Mm-hmm. You're talking about... Right. You're talking about uh, we're sitting here at what point? Any time before the 2010 fall season, yeah. you knew they had engaged in violations. Right. And that they were going to then participate that season. Right. And that you had not reported any of that information to Correct. athletics or compliance. And I knew why, but yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and I understand, and you've explained um, your reasons why. Do you understand that it is an NCA violation not to report information concerning violations? Yeah. Okay. And then in that regard, can you provide us with any further context or explanation as to um, why you didn't report that information? Outside of what I already have? Um, no. Outside of the gravity of what I thought the federal criminal investigation was, uh, outside of uh, the uh, confidentiality request you know, that was uh, in front of me um, you know those outside of that no I mean just just what we've talked about okay mm -hmm. 